sir. He lives in Australia, always chuffs around. Can you hear him coming? Listen for the sound. Percy, Percy, the greatest engine in the world. Percy, Percy, he stands with all the boys and girls. When he takes all the mail, he is not slow. Turns his little wheels to where he wants to go. Purse is chopping up along a steep bend. He is always happy. He's everybody's friend. And every pony's friend. Percy, Percy, the greatest engine in the world. Percy, Percy, he's friends with all the boys and girls. He's the greatest engine in the world. Thomas was visiting the Farrell Mountain We Georgia told him to visit Casey Jr.'s branch line on the other side of it. He'd never been there before. He climbed over the slope, then down to the other side past the ravine and into a railway. There was a shed he hadn't seen before. Hello, said Thomas. Casey Jr. puffed out of the shed, but he didn't look too happy. Howdy, Thomas, was what he managed to say. What's the matter, old boy? You seem upset. Casey shrugged at the question and said in a gloomy way, Your television series was agated in the 80s and the 2000s. But I've been thinking about my series which is put onto YouTube. I just remember the time. Oh, I'm sorry, Thomas. But I know you don't like seeing me upset, but I can't help it. It's just that I've been in a shed all these years and a museum being a sad star attraction. Worse than that, I'm homesick. My friends told me you retired in secret after the death day of Walt Disney. Why didn't you want to pull the circus train? Well, I asked old Smokey to take my place, and I left to go to caretakers. My secret is, I'm a lover train. Is... That's a good secret. Yes, it is. It's not really bad, you know. I'm here to help you with the green waste you collected. A lot of cut grass. I'm glad you did. I collected all of it, but I can't manage it. As Thomas collected his load, he wondered how he could cheer up the retired circus engine. Then, he had an idea which flew in his funnel. If I show him my branch line on Sodor, he might feel pleased. 
If only I could have some excitement. What did you say, Thomas? I said, if I could show you my branch line on Sodor, you might feel pleased. Oh, I've never been to Sodor before. We might have a look at it after we finish this. When they finished, they went off to Sodor looking for the branch line station called Fafakwa. First, they came to the junction and met Gordon, who was visiting too. Hello, Gordon. Just giving Casey Jr. tour. Your what? But they did not, sir. The fat controller saw them. He knew Thomas was showing his new friend where they used to live. First, they had a look at the windmill site. Isn't it wonderful? Yes, it is. It's never seen from me. A miller who saw Casey came up and put in a bag of flour as a gift for him to take to his new home. Then they came to Farquhar. It was all a wonderful scene to Casey. There he saw Percy and Bertie with the fat controller. We wanted to throw you a small welcome party, so we would give you this parcel. I just found it in my post train, said Percy. Casey opened up the parcel and had a gasp. It was a pack photo of him on Sodor the first time he was in a windmill site, and it had Twilight Sparkle who was looking about the place. Oh, thank you. I thought you would give me something to see, Thomas. Well, Casey, I think you should become my friend after this. That made the circus engine happy. He never felt left out anymore. Percy! Turns his little wheels to where he wants to go. Turns 
is toughing up on Long Street Bend. He is always happy. He's every father's friend and every partner's friend. Percy, Percy, the greatest engine in the world. Percy, Percy, he's friends with all the boys and girls. He's the greatest engine in the world.